Like, I even, and it's very common, especially from the young, young generation of musicians. They think somebody owes them, you know, something Famous. favors. That's yeah. what I say to the Nobody. Guy. You see, when I started my music, I always tell people this. Uh, uh, Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming through. And if you're new, kindly subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button just below down there. And turn on the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I have a new video on my channel. So yeah, let's get into this. Today we're looking at uh, a topic that is very close to the hearts of musicians especially up and rising musicians now the question is do established musicians owe favors to up and rising musicians here is what t-boy and kb had to say about this now this video is courtesy of kb killer Beats. you can check out the full interview that he had with t-boy on his channel the link is right there in the description you can check that interview out so let us take a look at what T-Boy and KB had to say about our question in this video. Then later on, I'll give out my opinion as well. I've, I've been talked about for like 15, 17 years. I mean, I've gotten to a point where my tolerance levels are just, you know what I'm saying? Like for me, sometimes I just, I see certain comments and I laugh, you know? Like even when I show you my, even my, my DM or my messages in Facebook, you know, some youngsters, when they start making threats, and you know, sometimes I even laugh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like... I and, and it's very common, especially from the young, young generation of musicians. They think somebody owes them, you know, something Famous. favors. That's yeah. what I said. To the Nobody. Guy. You see, when I started my music, I always tell people this. Uh, uh, when I started my music, I remember calling my sister, and I always talk about this. I remember calling my sister in Chibombo. She was in Chibombo. We are farmers there, you know. So I called you her. Always her I'm like, Chibombo. yeah. I'm like, I'm like, okay. Ni funa kureko danyimbo. And then she says, oh, this, there's no problem. If you want to record a song, I'm not a person that likes going and just getting favors from people. Uh -huh. I knew Ringman was my relative a long time. I didn't go to Ringman to go and say, Ringman, nipen pak on the blue wang and record. Ringman never knew I was his relative for a long time. Until my uncle showed up at Ringman's studio. And then Ringman saw my uncle. And the mother to Ringman saw my uncle and they started chatting. Then my uncle says, oh, I've come for you. Brother, he's here. He was recording a song. That's how come Ringman was very shocked. Like, you, you come here and you're my cousin and I charge you. You don't even, you know, tell me that I'm your relative because I'd hate favors. Right now, as we speak, one of the biggest video producers in the world is my cousin. I don't go to him and say, Who's that? Um, Antonet, he's the owner of East London uh, 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 Studio. Uh, you know, uh, uh. I don't go to, to him to say, uh, No, I'm coming to London. If I wanted, I would have said, No, I'm coming to London on my way as I go to the US. Let me pass through there a few days so that you know you can produce a video for me. Never, I've never said that. If he wants, if he feels like you want to do something for me, let him do that. But how did I start my music? Despite knowing I had people that were in big positions, even in government, I had people who were in big positions. Up to date, I have people, um, one of the, I won't mention names, yeah. the big, big, big guys. We know friends, but we are not people that use people because we know them. So youngsters that are coming up, we feel like we owe them a, a, a favor. No, you need to work work and show yourself to people then people will appreciate you i sold two bags of maize to go and record at the studio two bags of maize yes 90 kgs i went i came back here i was charged 150,000 kwacha in 2003 to record my first song that was all cheaper as we paid 250 yeah, it was 150,000 in 2003. Yeah. studio kina ngwa at Old Marsh. Then from there, I went to Sound with us, charged to uh, 250,000 kwacha, which I paid cash. Who was the producer sign Sound with then? Jerry Fingers. Oh, yeah, Jerry Fingers. Mm -hmm. Jerry Fingers was at Cypher, then he went yes. to Sound with. Mm -hmm. Sound with is here at Ringman, eh? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Ndemo Yenze did. So, at the end of the day, just because I know you, you are related to me. My, my own young brother is a very good rapper, in case you didn't know. 
with my own young brother after in a 14 years difference what's his name he's he's not no now there he's tall like you um i tell him every time you're my young brother but i won't let you if i'm paying for your school fees i won't pay for your studio time man you gotta wake up i have these machines here embroidery machines and printing machines get yourself to use if you want you know make the money from there just tell me no i want this you have the material make that go to the studio you want me to push you i'll push you that way but i won't take you to to the studio and then pay for your or your school fees by unilas why no sangapo chimozi and then you change sangapo in school number one it vina angwev just in case music fails you'll be able to live on your your education and i i for one feels like education and and whatsoever talent that you have they always move hand in hand a little education and it's not really getting the degrees just no it's just about the know-how whatsoever that you get the certificate or whatsoever in anything that will put you to understand a little things on how certain things are done it works very very well mm. that's so, very very interesting mm. so for me it's a, a people that will insult people that are bitter bitter people that will will try and make a name off me i look at them and smile i'm like you know aren't you one of the people that has had misunderstanding with almost everybody <laughs> no man <laughs> so yeah real talk from kb and t-boy right there like don't expect favors so yeah before i give out my opinion concerning our big question t-boy is one of the finest zambian musician one of the big artists seasoned big artists that we have in zambia and kb is one of the most renowned producers that we have who has produced massive great hit songs for various big zambian musicians so yeah the two just gave us their opinions concerning up and rising artists expecting favors from established artists now here is my take just an addition to what KB and T-Boy just said. You know, for people to respect you, you need to hustle. You need to push. You need to move from one radio station to another. People need to see that you are really working hard, that you are really putting in extra effort in what you love. There's a Bemba proverb that says, Mupama pamo pene atudirengoma, meaning that when you are persistent, you will eventually break through when you're hard working when you're there pushing your stuff pushing your music pushing your acting career it does get rough and frustrating at times but don't give up neither should you point fingers at this and that is not doing me favors most up and rising musicians are so much in a hurry to blow but you know you need to take your time you need to pass through the process the only way not to get frustrated as you are doing what you love doing is to enjoy doing what you are doing. Do it with the passion. Do it because you love it. Do it because you are passionate about it. Don't do it because you want to blow. Don't do it because you want to make money. You get frustrated and eventually you give up. Trust me, hard work pays with time. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that. Hit the bell, share the video, leave a comment on what you feel about this video. And lastly, don't forget to watch the full interview that KB had with T-Boy on his YouTube channel. The link is right in the description.